लीव इट मैन एंकर बनने के लिए देखो क्या क्या करना पड़ रहा है नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर हग इज दैट इज डन यस दोस फाइटिंग डेज आर ओवर नाउ इट्स टाइम टू हैव फन थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग ऑन क्विक हील बजी ब्लास्ट लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू टॉक टू यू एंड लर्न फ्यू मोर ट्रिक्स ऑफ द फील्ड शिबी खान मैन इट काइंड ऑफ अ वेरी स्ट्रेंज फीलिंग फॉर मी मी एंड यू प्लेइंग फॉर द सेम टीम एंड वी ऑलमोस्ट फेस्ड ईच अदर फॉर नॉट less than 10 years i think much more Pretty than more. that yeah few more yeah and playing alongside with you is is a pleasure and i'm really enjoying it but at the same time i get sometime i get confused you know i'm bowling <laughs> he's chasing the ball said, why is he chasing the ball normally it's other way around and you didn't even change your color you are still in yellow and from me kind of totally a different story <laughs> from blue to yellow so it's like i have joined yes, the aussie camp aussie camp <laughs> <laughs> you know let me tell you one thing every time i played against him You I got me out. <laughs> no, I got you out because I didn't show you that what was happening inside me. I always showed you that brave face, you know. Very brave, competitive. Very, brave. very trying to be very competitive and very brave face. That yes, I'm going to get you out. But from deep within, I always felt shit. He's going to hit me for a six because he goes like. And the moment you goes like this, most of the ballers they pitch the ball short and goes for six, and that's where I didn't make the mistake. He didn't. I still toss it up and few time I went for sixes and few time I got you out yeah, uh, yeah. but and um, that's one, one of so the top glad, player one of them so glad they were playing with you now <laughs> I reckon you got me out every time I played against Mumbai yeah let alone It's, then uh, for Australia <laughs> 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 just that over spin just kept getting me every time tell us more about your um, childhood my dad is a huge cricket cricket tragic so um you know from really just probably the day that I was born my dad was watching cricket probably would have had me there before I can remember actually sitting there watching test matches wow. especially my dad's a you know a huge test cricket fan especially you know my dad never forced me to playing cricket but it was just hard not to get caught up in his love of the game I grew up in Ipswich which is about um about 45 minutes uh west of Brisbane just far enough out of out of Brisbane that really sport was one of the main things to be able to sort of get out of get out of Ipswich and and move into the, the big you know into the big cities So um so growing up I played all different types of sports cricket was always my favorite and was always the the sport that I was most naturally good at What what you wanted to be a bowler or a batter I just wanted to be the best at both I just wanted to be the best fast bowler I wanted to be growing up I wanted to be Craig McDermott he was from Ipswich he grew up in Ipswich as well so I wanted to be him on a bowl as fast as I could and I, then I wanted to be Mark Waugh um growing up and then it which then changed to Ricky Ponting when he first started playing as well so Um so that's how I always was I just wanted to be the best I could be. Yeah, Dan must be really proud that you made it to the Australian yeah. team and you done so well. Yeah, I think I think more than anything dad was just he was like living his dream traveling around um you know watching cricket. He'd do like if he could he'd do that until the day he dies. Mum and dad used to travel to to England at times and watch some of the Ashes series that were played test matches that played there. South Africa, Sri Lanka, they um they've they came to India for the for the IPL last year for the oh, first nice. time. So um yeah my dad's just in the he's probably living the dream of just watching cricket that's every day lovely. possibly cuz lovely it's, it's isn't it the best thing that fulfilling the dream of your parents for me it was like you know my dad always wanted me to go play there for the national team but when i played he left me he couldn't see me playing but uh, but uh that's what he's being a how, parent isn't it yeah couldn't imagine it being a parent naturally because you want your kids to do so well all the time but who all is there in your family so i've got my mum and dad and my an elder sister okay. so she's a couple of years older than me she she rebelled against um cricket for through my teenage years because at the dinner table that was really all we talked about and then she realized that i was pretty good at it and that it was going to it ended up turning out to be you know part be a huge part she of my life. She must be very proud now. Look at my brother. Yeah, well she's happy she's she loves cricket now. Yeah. <laughs> she had no choice. You're a very family man. What I, I get that family. You know, I've seen your pictures. It's always with family. Yep. And you have beautiful beautiful daughter and a young good looking son <laughs> like you. <laughs> <laughs> Just I've always been so incredibly family oriented whether it was with my mum and dad and my sister. um before before I was fortunate enough to be able to have kids well, in the end families families everything you know friends friends do and can come and go but family is always there through thick and thin no matter what um and my my mum and dad and my sister have been an incredible support for me all the way through 
I know how precious that is. So then to have a chance to be able to have my own family is so incredibly special. Um, you know, my son Will, who's who's now five, um, is just now he's old enough. He just like he's just my little mate. We just hang out and um, <laughs> just and now he's starting to really. You know, even actually since we've been here in India, he's really like got my sort of obsession. You know, my my wife Lee's. Yeah, she doesn't get as obsessed with, in things as I do, but no, my son's now soccer and cricket or football, so um, he wants to go out in the Does in the he hallway. want to play cricket? He's starting to say that he does now. I'm yeah. not sure if he really knows exactly <laughs> what that means. <laughs> but um, he's starting to understand it a bit more about, about what I do and, he, and he's really enjoying it. Um, but, and my daughter, she just, as, as you know, your daughters just melt your heart. They just, you're there to protect them and look after, you know, look after them. Whereas my son, you just want to, it's more, you just want to help him um, with my experience that I've had as a, as a guy, to be able to help him, whereas my daughter, I just want to protect her and do everything I can to make sure that no one breaks her heart. How sweet of that. <laughs> we all know Aussies are very tough, but look at this. When you become father... Don't tell anyone I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, are you okay with my English? Because this is really? the first time yeah. I'm interviewing anyone. I keep hearing about that your English is not great. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Totally bad. You want to see me try and talk Hindi? I will ask no you. Chance. We'll ask you. <laughs> we'll ask you a few things in Hindi. <laughs> well, that it's was impressive. the case with me when I went to Australia for the first time. I couldn't speak a single word. Really? Only word I know knew in that time yeah. in English was a, another F word. Yeah, yeah. Which We're the first things we pick up in another language, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So it's well, not right. And look where you are now, that's, in, that's incredible. Great. You, you've been spending a lot of time in India. I'm sure you know a lot of Hindi words by now. And I need to test your skill in Hindi. Are you ready? Are you up for it? I'm up for it, but I'm not sure how I'll go. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. <laughs> if I say something in Hindi, you'll have to say that in English. Okay. Mujhe susu jana hai. Susu? I know what susu is. I need to do a wee. What? Yes. Well done, man. Susu lagi hai. So, so lucky, yeah. <laughs> okay. Tu pagal hai kya? Pagu. Pagal. No. Just say, tu pagal hai kya? Tu pagal hai kya? <laughs> it means, are you crazy? Oh, are you fool? Means crazy. Are you fool? Oh, definitely. Are you a know fool? That. Okay, I'll, gotta, I'll get that. Are you a fool? Okay. okay. Got it, okay. And the third one is, if I say in code word, tu thokna chalu kar, would you understand? No. But I will now, why don't you tell me? Start hitting. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, say that again. Tu thokna chalu kar. Brilliant, okay. All right. Tu. Say it again. Tu thokna chalu kar. Tu thokna. It comes out like something else. Yeah. <laughs> My Aussie accent's not good in Hindi, okay. is it? Say, thokna chalu kar. Thokna chula hai. It's all right. <laughs> close. When, when you Not hear, close. Tokna. Tokna. Tokna means hit. Okay. Abalele iski. Abalele eski. Mm -hmm. Abalele eski. Yeah, charge. Charge. Look to hit him. Okay. And just Abalele take eski. control over him. Okay. My English is also not that great, so I won't <laughs> be able to explain anyways. <laughs> <laughs>